It feels like for years we've been in a refinance boom. At least the last two, it's been a good time to refinance and it's been getting progressively better. So now as rates keep falling lower and lower, the question I'm running into from my clients is, should I refi my refi? The question comes down to not just how much will your interest rate drop, but what are your true net savings going to be in the long run after you take into account any costs associated with that refinance? That's why I use a total cost analysis. This report helps me analyze for the client what their monthly savings will be, but more importantly, after they take into account all the costs associated with the refinance, what are their true net savings going to be in the long run? So we pull up their current loan and we compare it with a refinance to let's say a 30 year fixed. So just moving over from the same loan product they have now into another 30 year loan term, but dropping their interest rate. So if they were dropping down to 2.5% based on today's interest rates, we can see what they'd save on a monthly basis. That's great, that looks nice on paper, but I could honestly make your monthly savings look even better if I had you paying points to buy down the rate or I had really high closing costs. So then we analyze what are their savings gonna be over the next five years. That takes into account that they're starting over on their loan term. It also takes into account a bank fee if they're paying one. If I just did a refinance for them, it's probably waived, but it also includes title and recording fees and setting up their new escrow account so it's properly funded to continue paying taxes and insurance. If we've accounted for all of that and the net savings over the next five years are still pretty substantial, then we can suppose that if we look even further ahead to 15 years, those savings are gonna to continue to compound and that's how you decide if you refi your refinance.